So this C C C C C C A C S T. These are uh, one of Knowledge Genius's sub brands. This uh, C C A. I don't know how in particular they work with Knowledge Zenith, I don't know if there's just another OEM or such, but uh, I've never seen these shells before and I thought they looked interesting and they were pretty brand new anyway, so we decided to review them. It took us quite a while, they've been out for like a couple of months now, but now we have them and this is what I think of them. Now disclaimer before we start the review, the CCA CST I bought with my own money. Um, I have no affiliation to uh, CCA or any store or brand whatsoever. So yeah, this review is of my own complete uh, honest opinion. So, yeah. So anyway, um, we'll just go over build, uh, build quality and packaging real quick because there's not a lot of things to cover in that regard. So the CCA CSDs are around like uh, eight to nine dollars. I bought them at a hundred forty thousand IDR, which is about nine ish dollars, nine to ten dollars, uh, depending on conversion rate at the time of purchase. Um, you just get this tiny box which doesn't really contain much and the uh, like a very thick manual doesn't really say a lot I don't know it's, it's in Mandarin mostly and uh, you got uh, or at least I got three pairs of uh, these knowledge Zenith Starline ear tips um, yeah I don't, I don't have them with me in the packaging right now because I took them out and I lost them somewhere uh, yeah. Anyway, then there should be three uh, three pairs of Knolizina Starline ear tips in the box with the CCA CSDs. Uh, build quality overall of these EMs is uh, it's 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 pretty standard. If anything, the cable feels too cheap even for this price, which is not something I would normally say. Uh, a lot of EMs in this hundred thousand, uh, not hundred thousand, nine to ten dollar ish US dollars price range usually have a better cable than this. This feels extremely cheap. It doesn't even have a chin slider, though. Although it does have a microphone and this uh, angle jack, so I'll give credit where credit is due. Uh, I don't know how well the microphone works because my phone doesn't actually have a headphone jack, so I'm not able to test this. Um, and yeah, this this feels like an earlier, I mean, the early years of Knoll Zenith sort of cable. It's very thin. Uh, it's quite pliable and supple and it, it, the microphonics aren't that bad so yeah apart from the looks and the feel of it I think the cable is fine the shells of these they they are a lot lighter than they actually look like because you would think that this is wood it feels like wood it feels like very fake wood uh, and it's very these these shells are very light they're extremely light like even if they were made out of plastic I wouldn't think that it would be this light but they are so this is kind of this orienting and they've got this like huge fence on the back uh, so uh, isolation with these IEMs not that great but, yeah uh, nozzle size is pretty standard uh, most ear tips will fit here just fine uh, spin fit CP100 should fit no problems at all so yeah and uh, overall fit and comfort I would say is pretty average for like a straight down IEM I don't really have much issues with these IEMs and they're kind of angled inwards uh, so I think they will fit most people's ears anyway yeah um, now let's just get into sound and I'll just give you a, a short summary of what these sound like they sound like your uh, average uh, Chaifa IEM they're quite V-shaped, they're a bit softer in the treble though which is quite nice to see um, the bass quantity is th there's lots of it and the mid-range is uh, not that much behind which is quite surprising honestly um, and we'll get into more detail of the sound starting with the bass now the bass of the CCA CSTs is extremely emphasized there's, like, there's plenty of sub basses, plenty of mid bass it mostly sounds one notey and quite mush um, there's some texture to it not a lot of it um, speed also isn't that fast it's actually quite slow so if you listen to faster music this, these, will slow, uh, these will fall behind but if you just listen to like EDM and such, um, I think they will still be able to hold on quite well. But if it's any faster than let's say um, maybe trance music or something, and it, they will start falling behind. Yeah, it with fast ba bass notes, these just kind of start something like absolute mush. Uh, yeah. Now um, speaking of mush and the emphasis in the bass. Uh, the 
base also bleeds into the mid range, which is rather unfortunate. Um, although it doesn't really distract me that much, uh, yeah, probably just because of the sheer quantity of the base. Uh, what distracts me more about the mid range is that um, from the mid way, uh, from the mid range to the upper mid range, these sound sort of like um, there's like this sort of veil. It feels kind of hollow and veiled in that region. That actually ticks me off more than the bass bleed does into the mid range. So if you uh, if we put if you put some importance into that region, you might not want to get these. Um, but uh, yeah, aside from that, the mid range just feels pretty average. Uh, detail is there's some detail in there. Uh, separation is also just plain average for this price range. So yeah, I'm not expecting that much from these IEMs anyway, because they're just well, less than 10 bucks, uh, but yeah, I, I just have a problem with that this fail and hollowness in that mid to upper mid uh, region, because it, it sounds odd sometimes, uh, yeah. Now, when we talk about the treble, so this is something that I quite appreciate about the CCS CSTs, is that the treble region, although still a bit hot, doesn't sound as hot as chai fi IEMs in this price range usually are. Uh, talking about something like the ZSTs or the ZSNs uh, which have extremely spicy treble. These are toned down a little bit. Extension is also still up to par. It's not the worst that I've heard. Uh, speed is definitely just average, uh, maybe even below average. Um, it also becomes a bit of mush uh, if the treble uh, is played quite uh, fast. But again, uh, at this price range this is sort of the performance that I would expect. And yeah, uh, for the fact that they did not overdo the treble, I would, I would, I would give them points for that. So yeah. Uh, overall, I would say that these CCICSTs soundstage, um, if this were the size of my head, it was, uh, and these were my ears, and this was the front of my uh, face, the CCICSTs sound quite a bit inward. Uh, so they are sort of like just in in my head sounding. There's a lot less depth than there is width. So the depth of them, they, they, they feel very uh, close to the center of my head. But the width is uh, not that bad. It's, it's just quite inwards from my head. But yeah, there's still some width at least. It doesn't sound totally congested. Uh, imaging on the other hand is uh, is a bit fuzzy. I was only able to tell accuracy about like at -ish, like 60-ish degrees, which is not that great, but yeah. Now, um, overall, uh, compared to something like, let's say, the Knoll Zedia ZSTX and the Knoll Zenith EDX, uh, which are in the similar in the similar price range, the EDXs are actually cheaper. The ZSTX, uh, from what I remember, are a bit more expensive. Uh, that's, these are like a couple of bucks cheaper, this is like one dollar more expensive. Um, the EDXs, uh, they have a bit of a fuller mid range in the, that mid to upper mid region which the CCICSTs lack, but on the, other uh, on the other hand they also have quite a bit more aggressive treble. Uh, base performance are quite similar, so that's why I did not point that out initially, I just remembered it just now. Uh, but the travel region on the EDXs uh, is quite hard for me to constantly hear. Uh, these irk me quite a bit. Uh, but if you do not mind a more aggressive travel presentation, then I suppose you can actually get the EDXs. Uh, if uh, that hollow mid range in the CCSCSDs will probably bother you. So, yeah. Uh, the ZSTX, on the other hand, I would say don't get the ZSTX um, unless you're going for the looks. This ZSTX is just extremely sharp. The mid range sounds, it sounds very metallic also, and the uh, bass is as loose as the CZSTs. They're actually like they're not that far. Uh, they're not that much different in terms of the uh, bass presentations. A lot of these, uh, yeah. The, the most most of the defining factors between all of these models is just that they have different characteristics in the mid to treble region. Most of these ba the bass on these are all tuned up to like 11 and they just, they ju they're just kind of mush and uh, not really well textured and 
yeah, overall don't really have a lot of control. Um, so yeah, if you do not mind uh, a bit of hollowness in the upper mid to uh, not the mid to upper mid region, and you like a more a slightly more laid back presentation compared to your normal chai fi IEM, uh, chai fi V shape IEM, then I suppose the CCA CST can be an option, uh, unless you can find original MS seven five fives which we also have a video on because I think that's for like five dollars it's just, it's, just, it's just unbeatable as of now but yeah I think that concludes my CCA CST review um, comment what you think like if you like this video and subscribe if you want more content like this so see you guys next time